All right, guys, so, so far we explored how to add data to our app by reading um, the fields we have on our spreadsheet. Right now, in this video, we're going to explore the ways that we can allow the user to create new data for the app. Right. And I thought that since this is like a news app, um, the best way to demonstrate this is by creating a new page where the user can submit some stories. Right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is, of course, create a new sheet. Right. So we want to add this on a new sheet so it's separate from everything else. Um, and we can we can uh, categorize our data. So let me call this stories. Right. So we call our sheet stories and I'm just going to make it really simple. I'm just going to add a title. Uh, so every story is going to have a title and then here I'm going to have the, the story. Right. So these are the headings of the sheet. Um, and then we're going to go back to our app and now we need to create a new tab. Right. So I'm going to go to tabs. Uh, let me refresh this so it, it captures the new sheet that we created. Um, and let's go to tabs. We're going to create a new tab. We're going to call this stories. And the source of this is going to be the stories sheet. Right. So we get a nice empty page. And I want to make sure that this is a details styling um, style, st detail, detail style page. Um, now, we got an empty page. And what I think would be a nice um, uh, a nice element to add to this page, uh, like a, I, I, I'm thinking of adding like a list with all the stories that the users submit, and then above at the top I can have a post new story button, you know, and that's the button that is going to link us to a new form where the user is going to be able to submit a new story. So, what I want to do first, um, let's get rid of this title here. Uh, let's add a new component, right? A rich text. I'm going to make this custom and I'm going to say, um, welcome to the user or I'll, I'll say to the stories page. Here is where you can tell, you can share your stories and concerns. with the whole world. Right, and I'm going to make this uh, H3. So I'm going to add three hashtags. So it's bold. And then below this, we need to add an inline list. And this is where all the um, the stories are going to be displayed. Now by default, it it gets the breaking news as the source for some reason, but I want to change this to stories. Right. So now if we go on the story spreadsheet here, and we add um, story one as the title, and then this is some text. Let's refresh this. And we should now get our first story displayed there. There we go. Let's change the label to stories, or I should say submitted stories, right? So we're going to get a nice list with all our stories. Later on, we can customize this and maybe make it a title and have images for each story. We could do that as well. But first of all, let's get like a basic thing working here. So now what I want to do next is I want to add a button right below the, 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 the text here that is going to allow the user to submit um, a story. And what we're going to use is this component right here called the form button. And you can see that we have two button components, but this is just the button that you would use in order to link to a website or maybe link to another page and so on. That's not useful in this case. We want to use the form button. And what this button does, let me just bring it up here. And I'm also going to add a separator under the button right there. So it looks nice. Um, what I'm going to what what this button does this form button when you click on it it brings up a form right so it's really really nice now let's click on form button first 
and let's see what we have here. So we have um, an option to change the label. So I'm going to change that to submit new story, right? And we don't have any more options here, but when we click on the button, we get this page, th this uh, sidebar right here, where we edit our form. So as you can see, the first thing we have at the top is destination, right? So this is where the data that the user submits on the form is going to go. And we want that data to go to the stories spreadsheet, right? So we're going to select as a sheet, as a destination, we're going to select stories, right? And now you can see it automatically gets the two fields that we have on the spreadsheet right here. So the first one is a text entry, right? That's correct. This is just text. The second one is a text entry. That's just text. On a form, you can also add more components, right? So it depends on, on what kind of fields you have here. So if we have like an image field, which we're going to add in a second, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Then we can have a file picker, for example, or an image picker, which will allow the user to upload an image from the device. But we're going to explore that in a second. Let's just see what happens when we um, let's submit a new story. So let's say uh, this is my story and this is just some random text for the story right submit boom automatically it gets added right here right because our inline list right here gets all the values from the stories and adds them in a list now let's check our spreadsheet there we go right so you see how easy this is now we're able to add data to our app. We're able to add data to our spreadsheet, guys. So now we are able to create and we're able to read data, right? So this is really powerful. Now, let's add some more, let's make this more interesting, right? Let's add an image, an image field, and let's add a date, right? Um, okay. And we can also add a description just to make this interesting and explore different things. So I'm going to put the description right there. I'm going to put the story image and date. Perfect. So now we need to go back to our form and we need to add those extra fields in the form, right? So if we add a new component for the, the description, this is going to be a text, right? So we're going to have to tell a select text entry, right? Uh, and I'm going to, uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. So data. Now we need to select w uh, what, what data, uh, where that data is going to be submitted to, right? So we want that to go to, ah, we need to, first of all, reload the sheet guys, because we created new fields and we didn't reload. Uh, okay, let's go back to stories, submit new story. Now, if we go to column here, there we go. So we now have description. Uh, I'm going to put the description above the story here. And then what else do we have? We have image and date. So for the image, as I mentioned a second ago, we're going to use the image picker, right? And as you can see, this allows us to upload an image. Right, so I'm gonna put this right there, that's good. Um, and that's gonna allow the user to select an image from their device. And then finally, for the date, this is another interesting thing, guys. If we go to components here, we can have the user select the date, right, that they're posting this article on. However, I think that a better way to do that is by choosing this element right here, current date and time form submission at, at form submission. And as you can see, this is a special value because when we add this to the form, it is not gonna appear on the form. This is like a background operation that takes place. And what's gonna happen is that at the time when the user is gonna click on that submit button, um, Glide is gonna find the current date and time and it's going to submit that value on the date field, right? It's going to submit that value right here. So this is really, really nice and powerful, right? So um, 
that's pretty much it so now let's test this out I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna try and find an image guys and I'm gonna submit this form so here we go guys I now found a new um, image and a new story that we can add here so I'm just gonna give it a title um, visiting a volcano and then I'm just gonna say this is my story of visiting a volcano Okay, no. Um, then here in the story, I just found some text, which is not really a story. It's just some, I don't know. I didn't even read it. So um, then we upload an image uh, and submit. There we go, guys. Right. So this has been added there, and it's also now added to our spreadsheet. As you can see, the image is uploaded, and we also get a current date. Right. So that's perfect. Now the next thing we want to do, guys, is style this uh, inline list right here. So let, let, let's make it look nicer. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete these ones because they don't really have any content. OK, and let's refresh this. OK, so I'm thinking of making this tiles, right? So we get a bigger image there. Um, it gets values from stories that's correct and the title is set to title description is set to details is set to description perfect and then image is set to image now let's see what happens when we click on this oh nice okay so it has already kind of made it look nice for us so we have a title component here with that which has the um, the title there okay perfect details has the description then it has the image on the background perfect okay so this is the title component um, and then we have the date there date submitted perfect okay um, and then we have the story down here which is set to the story field perfect so there we go guys this is our template for the stories so every time a user submits a story it's going to be displayed in a list here and then people can go in and edit, uh, the, the, sorry, uh, read the, the story, right? So this is it for this video, guys. Now you know how to create data, how, how to allow your user to create data for your app. You know, so the app now it becomes more powerful. You know, there's a lot more um, things we can do and interact with the user. Uh, the, this, sorry, there's so many more things the app can do and the user can interact with it. So yeah, guys, this is it for this video, and I'm going to see you on the next one.